Hi everyone. I get asked a lot where I get my fabrics from and what I love to buy and what appeals to me about certain fabrics and how I choose fabrics to match my pattern. So today I'm going to take you on a little online shopping spree. <laughs> These are things that I've noticed lately online that I've really got my eye on and if I had an endless budget some of the beautiful fabrics that I would go for. Sometimes all you need is a bit of inspiration to help you and point you in the right direction for buying fabric, especially online. It can be quite difficult to know what to choose. So I am gonna take you on a little adventure and show you my favorite stops, my go-to shops that I go to first, and especially show you the ones that are really worth signing up to for their newsletters and that way when they have brand new fabric releases you'll be first in line because a lot of these sell out very quickly um, some of the brand name fabrics that people can pay quite um, quite a lot of money for they can get sold out within minutes um, so if you've got kind of your eye on something really special it's always great to be a subscriber and also when these fabric stores have big sales you'll be first in line as well so it's really really worthwhile signing up to them so come with me and i'll show you my favorite shops so first of all we've come to cloth edit they've got brand new checked linens on here i think we're going to Really love using these for some blouses. So Gabrielle has in a great new range of linens, some beautiful checks. And the one that I have chosen here is this beautiful duck egg and white check. I think will make a gorgeous blouse. The fabrics, as always, from Cloth Edit are just beautiful. Uh, I will show you what else she has in. Linens are also beautiful quality, but the one I love on here is the Amalfi. Uh, linen and it's a beautiful print I think it would make a stunning blouse as with most of her prints are uh, all hand-picked and curated she does a great job there the other one I love now the other one I love is this beautiful Japanese cotton this Ophelia vanilla that I have seen on her uh, Instagram, uh, a gorgeous Bakerloo blouse made from this. I just think this is beautiful. You can see the work in the actual cotton. It's almost like 3D printed with a beautiful texture as well. Now she is getting some new stock very shortly as well, so make sure you keep an eye on her website. This is the one that I've shown you guys in my latest vlog, and it's the Paradise print, which is almost like an oil painting to me the colors are so vivid and beautiful in that too now the great thing about cloth edit is that you'll see she has listed patterns that will go with the actual fabric if you find it hard to match up patterns to fabric she's done all the hard work here for you so you can see all these patterns are ones she has in store uh, so you've got the Nina Lee Bloomsbury paper cut patterns array so you just go through the list and she's given you a lot of suggestions here um, that can really do all that hard work for you and of course, beautiful viscose rayon. This uh, quality of this viscose is absolutely beautiful, soft and drapey. And I think it would be perfect to make a blouse up for the So April Blouse Challenge. The next store we're going to is Pattern Scissors Frock, also another online store here in Australia. And I just think her fabrics are really stunning quality as well. Um, there's quite a few name brands you'll see. Uh, Merchant Mills, Mind the Maker, there really is something for everybody. And I know a lot of her beautiful cottons are coming in as well. She's got some uh, wonderful linen blends, some gorgeous seersuckers. I just think this would make a beautiful shirt style blouse. The texture in that is amazing. Now, some of the coming soon uh, cottons I just think are beautiful, especially this uh, See You at Six landscape. Um, Gorgeous cotton gabardine twill, I think, is absolutely stunning. It would make a beautiful shirt style blouse. And the cotton lawns you'll see here, this is a standout to me, this beautiful Indian cotton check. I just think that is going to be gorgeous for maybe like a jacket style shirt or an open, maybe the Ilford. Um, there's a couple of new fiber mood patterns that are beautiful that would suit that too. Beautiful cotton lawn damselfly from Lady McElroy, I think would make a stunning blouse as well. So that is Pattern Scissors Frock. 
Now, Fabrica have got a clearance sale at the moment. All their sales uh, fabrics are on fifty um, percent off, so great time to look at some bargain fabric. Um, this one in particular, I just think is beautiful. We'll have a look what they've got in their sale. Definitely worth having a look. Um, this really pretty cotton linen, of course, I've been eyeing that for quite some time. That would make a beautiful blouse, as would this um, beautiful rayon. I just think. I can really imagine that in a delicate style blouse with a maybe a feature collar or a puff sleeve. Um, very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, being on sale, great time to take up that offer. Now there are other fabrics that I tend to look at a lot on here would be the viscose rayon, of course, for blouse making. It's always soft and floaty. Uh, you'll see quite a big range here. This one I just think is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's got the navy back background, bright pinks as well, would make a really pretty blouse. As would this beautiful uh, viscose as well with this palm print. I just think this is a real standout. If you're wanting something a bit more uh, plain, things like your double gauzes as well uh, are lovely for blouse making in a you know, really pretty terracotta colour. So it really depends on what you're after and what kind of blouse you have in mind. Next, we're on to My Design. Of course, everyone knows how much I love My Design, especially for their lovely Lady McElroy fabrics. They have got a lot of new fabric in as well. Um, Mikey tends to update uh, quite regularly with all the new prints. Also, Czech Cotton uh, is really in at the moment. I mean, this is a standout to me, this gorgeous uh, checkered. A rainbow lorikeet, um, absolutely beautiful. I just think for uh, any time of year, really, but especially for us heading into the autumn, winter, for layering, I just think checks are really, really in at the moment and well worth um, finding the colours that you love. Um, this one, of course, is beautiful. I'm attracted to those colours straight away. But you can really uh, narrow it down by looking at, if you prefer just to look at the viscose rayon section on. Uh, my design you'll find quite a big range here. Uh, this one is one I've been looking at for quite a while too thinking it's a really unusual uh, colour. You don't see much of this kind of beige kind of, oh, it's almost like a blush, it's an oriental koi fish uh, but with that kind of background and the beautiful turquoise blue fish I think it really pops out. Um, I think that would make a stunning Allows maybe a bit more understudy if you don't want to have a bright, bright print. This is really pretty, and you could bring bring those colours out. I think with um, maybe a terracotta colour slack or um, jeans, uh, a little bit gorgeous with jeans as well, or with a nice chunky cardigan over the top. And of course, they've got the brand new Mind the Maker viscose twill range in. Still a fair bit of Lady McElroy, Shelley Lawns. And this is absolutely beautiful. I've seen this uh, Alex Judge, I think, made or is making or made something from this. I think it's beautiful. Uh, the bird print uh, evening roosted is that that would be stunning in a blouse. I think for our challenge, definitely. Now the Japanese crinkle cotton is also a beautiful fabric and really uh, stunning bright colours. This vivid magenta, I think, is very very pretty as well. Uh, I think it would make a gorgeous blouse for our challenge too. Now the Fabric Store Online is another favourite of mine. It's, uh, they do do international postage as well and they are a New Zealand based store that's uh, also got store in Australia as well and online so they've got a great service they do offer. They have some beautiful new arrivals. Now you would have seen the little, little uh, promo there before when I clicked on their homepage at this. Um, Leaping Tiger uh, Viscose Shelley I just think is really unusual and beautiful. I think I can see this in um, the I Am blouse, the new long sort of high lay hem with uh, a nice chunky button. I think that would look really pretty. Even the assembly line oversized shirt um, that Alex Judge made too, I can see that print as well in that. They've also got some beautiful, um, another stalk, Visco Shelly. I just think this is really, really pretty. It would be lovely in the Valley smock that I'm making at the moment. Uh, all the in the dress as well because the drapes really pretty in that and that stalk print I think is really lovely and fresh and if you want something a bit more novelty they've got this gorgeous uh, cactus cotton cat print I think is really lovely as is with this uh, koi fish another shelly but really 
pretty delicate uh, fabrics in their new range of cottons. Uh, the quality looks beautiful as well, so uh, worthwhile checking out their store. Uh, another favourite of mine on here is also the Silk Crepe de Chine. It's a bit of the pricier uh, end of fabrics, but the uh, Liberty um, Crepe de Chines are absolutely beautiful. This one in particular I think would make a beautiful smock style blouse uh, with this kind of looks like a tapestry print through it. I just think the um, being 100% silk, absolutely beautiful. It would just feel lovely on the body too. The other one I've been eyeing off for quite some time would be these two actually. They're both Liberty as well. Um, this Torrington Crate de Chine, of course silk again. Look at that print. It is just a standout um, geometric print, like a tile print, uh, like the mosaic style. I just think that's beautiful. And as is with this uh, the Torrington Crepe de Chine, it's got the beautiful uh, little bridge uh, oriental print on there. I just think uh, it will look really stunning in a blouse. And it had sold out for quite some time. They've got some more back in. So if you're thinking about this one, I wouldn't wait too long because I think it will sell out pretty fast. We are at Tazuti Fabrics now. And I'm going to show you their beautiful um, silks that they have in store at the moment. Uh, there's some really standout um, pretty uh, prints on here, especially of course the, the wonderful uh, Liberty prints. I just think this Liberty silk is absolutely beautiful as well. They're on the bit of a pricier end, but if you are wanting to make um, something that doesn't require a lot of fabric, you can maybe splash out and I think that would come up beautiful in a top blouse. And I just think this uh, is another one, the Cape Vista print eye. I think this is really pretty and fresh for um, that warmer weather. You guys in the Northern Hemisphere, I think it would be beautiful, lovely and floaty. The print, I think, is gorgeous in this too. The printed linens on Tazudi are always really special. Uh, lovely unique prints. This was one I'd seen and I thought it was beautiful. It's the Field of Mars print wash linen. Um, really unique print. Lovely colours for dressing up maybe with a pair of jeans uh, with a nice little red jacket. I think it would look lovely. Now we're at Fabric Deluxe here in Melbourne and they have got a brand new range in just recently. I saw a gorgeous rayon viscose and that would be this beautiful uh, the Dark Balloons printed rayon shelly. I just think that is absolutely stunning. I, I again could see that in the smock style blouse. I think it would look really pretty. This is also really stunning. This geometric garden printed at Visco Shelley. Really bright and fresh. I think it would make a beautiful printed blouse. And this one I think is another one I've been uh, looking at for quite a while now. It's the Visco Shelley Fancy Shapes. So if you're into those really bright kind of primary colours, I think you're going to love the look of these and the drape you can see is magnificent you get really good service as well from fabric deluxe they have some beautiful beautiful fabrics now we're at wattle hill fabrics another favorite of mine for knitwear um, i'm going to show you their rayon viscose range now they do have stretch rayon viscose as well but if you're wanting it for blouse and you're wanting to have the non-stretch they do have a european viscose um, they are the jersey knits so we're steering away for those but if you're wanting just a normal round viscose this is one i already have i absolutely love this so uh, it's their um, blossom flowers with this gorgeous cobalt blue and i think this is also stunning to complement and if you're wanting to do a mix and match with prints maybe this is in the same range and it's a beautiful leo print um, in that chestnutty brown color with the gold flecks and you can see here it's been made in the blouse I think that looks really pretty and modern if you're not really big into florals it's something a bit more unusual and a bit different but really love the look of that color especially now we are at uh, east coast fabrics in brisbane and they have some great bargain fabrics especially if you're looking for um, some rounds in particular their rayon section um, in the dress fabrics is really really lovely some some gorgeous prints um I, I do sometimes have a bit of trouble navigating their website but if you just pop in rayon in the search bar you'll find their lovely rayons if you scroll down they do have quite a few prints in the rayon section 
Um, I think some of them are like six to eight dollars a meter. So this one, this Versace Paisley Pink and Navy Print, six dollars a meter. I mean that is a bargain. You can't go wrong for that. And I have seen some of these come up really lovely. Um, so definitely worthwhile looking at their rayons and I think the bargain end style fabrics there are great value for money. Now we're at Darn Cheap Fabrics here in Melbourne and I am going to show you their range of uh, viscose fabrics. Now you'll find that they either have print or plain. We'll go to the print section first. Um, but they do have quite a big range of really good value printed fabric in their store. Um, if you're wanting to look for maybe a cotton or a cotton lawn, I think you'll find plenty on here. Um, the one that I wanted to show you in particular, they have this gorgeous bow and cherry print. And that is in a rayon, $14.95 a meter. Of course, you can't go wrong for that. Really nice, soft, drapey fabric. I think that would look really cute in a blouse. Now, you make sure that you look at their composition of what the fabrics are because some of them will say rayon, but when you look at their, they have a stretch element like a nylon or spandex with it, you'll know that it's actually a knit. So sometimes they don't uh, distinguish that in their actual descriptions, but if you look, um, for example, if you look at the fabric composition on this um, leopard print, now that doesn't distinguish whether it's a knit or a uh, woven, but if you see here, it has rayon, nylon and spandex. The spandex will have the stretch element in it. So that is not what we're looking for for the blouses. We are looking for either the straight viscose or rayon. Um, cotton, I think the cotton lawns are really pretty. Um, I'll show you the one I had seen quite a while ago in a print. And they do have a lot of um, quilting cottons as well. So that's not what I'm looking for either. I want the um, the dressmaking apparel fabric. So um, this is a really pretty lightweight chambray cotton. Uh, I just think that would come up really stunning. The Nina Lee blouse with a big collar would look really pretty in that. Um, it has got a little bit of drape. It's a lightweight chambray, so it would be perfect for a blouse, I think. Now we're heading over to uh, Western Australia here to Potter & Co. They've got a, quite a few new fabrics in and they all always have a beautiful range of natural fibres as well. So you'll see here they've got a lovely range of linens and of cottons as well and they do have quite a lot of bargaining fabrics that have got great quality. So I tend to look at the composition style of things first. I might go up to here or go to, for example, go to Viscose. Um, and you'll see all their beautiful viscoses that are in that would make stunning blouses. Now I do have that Valerie fabric I made in the Sophia dress. That was lovely. Um, the cinnamon I think is beautiful as well. And this uh, Amelia was another one that stood out to me. I think would make a really pretty blouse. That's in a Cupro viscose. So really uh, lovely. It has a little bit more structure, but uh, I think would make a very pretty blouse or dress for that. These lovely kind of crushed looking uh, crushed looking linens I just think would be beautiful in a blouse if you're looking for something with a more of a solid colour. Uh, you can see it does have a little bit of drape. Um, I think something like your Helga shirt from Tazuti Fabrics would be beautiful in that too with a nice statement button. Now I'm on to Bebelouche Design. They do have some beautiful rayons. They always stock art gallery rayons, sometimes Ruby Star Society. Uh, they do have quite a little bit left in here. Um, there's some lovely prints that um, Ruby, uh, Ruby Star Society cat print is absolutely beautiful. I could definitely see that in a little, maybe a sagebrush blouse. And all of their art gallery fabrics are beautiful. This lovely um, Moda is a gorgeous range of fabrics as well. Um, the Moda Sunshine, I just think that is really stunning with that lilac and burnt orange background. It's definitely one I could see in a blouse. As is with this, another Moda fabric as well, the pineapple print. Um, that is really pretty, really lovely fabric that. And then you're getting into the bright, so definitely worth having a look on uh, Bebelouche Designs. 
Now I'm going to show you Draper's fabrics. I've bought quite a lot off there lately. They have great variety of fabrics and also great price range as well. Um, they do have a lot of new linen cotton viscose print in and as you can see their latest arrivals. Um, some beautiful spot prints there. Um, there's some standout fabrics I think on here especially this printed cotton. I just think uh, the red and the blue together are beautiful. Uh, looks like a nice lightweight cotton with a little bit of drape. And you'll see in the sections they've got their cottons and their silks uh, and viscose all um, all split up. Very very easy to navigate their website and great uh, great service, great postage as well. This um, print of viscose in the white I just think is really stunning, a bit more understated, but really pretty pear print. I think that would look gorgeous in a blouse. Now, don't go past their synthetics. I know a lot of people are scared to purchase synthetics uh, because, you know, not being a natural fibre, but I must say the quality of their um, synthetics is really lovely and they do have a beautiful drape as well. Uh, in particular, one I had bought here more recently would be um, the Diva fabric with the perfume bottles. I will show you. This uh, printed Your You is quite a sheer fabric, but I think it would look lovely with maybe a little camisole underneath. Uh, that fabric in particular, I think, is a stunning print and very uh, autumnal range of colours. Now, this is the one I was looking for, the Diva printed polyester. Of course, I made the Sydney design dress from Style Art, but I think I could really see that in a blouse. Uh, would definitely come up really nice in a, even a classic style shirt blouse. So that's $18 New Zealand a metre. Of course, you wouldn't need too much being a shirt or blouse. So really love that fabric. And I just think the new range of cottons is really special. Uh, some really unique prints. This uh, printed cotton, of course, just simple. But I think looking at the colours, the rust and the black, with that line art there, I think it would come up really nice and modern looking in a shirt or blouse. So hopefully you enjoyed that and I hope that I haven't kind of given your credit card too much of a bashing and also I really hope I've um, shown you a few uh, fabric stores that might uh, you might have overlooked before, especially things like yeah, looking for really good budget and fabric that's great quality. I think it's always good to know that if you've purchased from them before, you've had great success because really there is something for every budget on here. And especially with a So April Blouse Challenge, I think it's very, very important to look in your stash. Maybe look at some things that you've had sitting there a while, some vintage tablecloths, vintage sheets, or even repurposing uh, clothing that you might not have worn for a while if you've got dresses. Uh, and even looking at thrift stores and op shops, call them op shops here in Australia, because sometimes they have fantastic uh, fabric cuts that people may have had sitting in their stash and never used. So always, always look at repurposing if you can do and you can get some beautiful trims as well. And I have had so many beautiful blouses are already added to the hashtag. And it's going to be very, very tricky to choose a winner because there's just so many talented people out there ready to put their kind of finer tuned details on everything and really make it special. So um, don't forget to look at the hashtag and see what everyone's making. And um, I forgot to say what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing the So To Grow Sydney shirt dress. This can also be made in just a shirt. And I'm gonna do a hack on one of these for uh, autumn winter with a longer sleeve because I love wearing it so much because you get that look of a shirt without the buttons, which is a great bonus if you are scared of buttonholes or you just don't wanna to have to attempt them. This is a great pattern for that too. So. Thanks for joining me. Keep inspired, keep those uh, blouses coming and I'm really looking forward to checking them all out. So take care. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget, you know how to do that. Don't miss out on an episode. We'll catch up with you very shortly. Take care. Bye for now.